Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning. So, it, just to continue with our concept on uh, vector addition, yesterday what we have discussed is if we have two vectors a and b, uh, we can create a new vector a plus b just by adding the uh, each of the elements with the elements of the other vector right. In this case a 1 plus b 1, a 2 plus b 2 and so on till a n plus b n. It also should meet a condition that both the uh, vectors should have same number of elements ok. Now, this is theoretically fine, but what does it mean by uh, vector addition in uh, in the real world. So, we will refer to the uh, data set of uh, in one of the competitions in Kegel which is housing price prediction and you this data should look very familiar to you right. We had uh, 79 columns and we are uh, we are supposed to predict the sale price of that house. Now, in that uh, in this data set uh, there are several columns such as you know first floor square feet, second floor square feet and the uh, group uh, livable area this is also in square feet right. Now, uh, these are three separate columns, but if I uh, if I require to add all these three columns the first square uh, floor square feet, the second floor square feet and the group livable area square feet then it will give me the total square feet of the house. So, from my intuition I know that bigger the house is the sale price of the house also will be bigger right. So, in order, instead of keeping them as a separate you know um, column for the square feet I can do one of the feature engineering where I can instead of you know keeping three columns I can merge them into one and create a new vector which is which will be much more easier for me to work with. So, what I can simply do is you know I can uh, create a uh, vector like this you know something like this and uh, this could be my vector v 1, this could be my vector v 2 and this could be my vector v 3 and I can create a vector v which will be nothing but v 1 plus v 2 plus v 3 right. So, I will then just remove this three columns and I will just replace it with something called as say total square feet and if I add this three together then this would be become something like 680 square feet and this one will become say something like uh, 1360 square feet right simple. So, this is what is meant by vector addition ok. All right. So, there is another important uh, mathematical operations that we can do on vectors and uh, alike with matrices as well is the scalar multiplication. So, what does it mean by scalar multiplication? Scalar multiplication is a uh, like multiplying the vector with a constant number right which does not change it has only a value and it does not have any directions right. Um, regarding the direction of the vectors we will take it up in the next video. So, first of all we want to make sure that we understand the basic mathematical operations. Ok. So, what if I have to multiply say a with a constant value of say 0 0.5 then my new elements will be a 1 times 0 0.5, a 2 times 0 0.5, a 3 times 0 0.5 and so on right and a n times 0 0.5. So, this will be my new elements of my vectors right ok. So, now let us look into a practical example where we are going to use a scalar multiplication of vectors right ok. So, we are going to refer to the same data set where we have uh, these uh, columns uh, also we call it as features in the data set or variables it is up to you. So, we have columns such as basement full bath, uh, basement half bath, full bath and the half bath. So, what does this bath is? These are the how many how many bathrooms uh, do they have right and uh, we know that ok we can consider a full bath as 1, but whenever we see a basement half bath is 1, but then if we have to add them together right. So, we have to consider this as 0 0.5 right and this is 0 0.5. So, uh, let us look into an example how we can calculate the total bathrooms uh, in the house right. Okay. So, I have just copied uh, this first two records here 
for the demonstration purpose. So, if I consider this again as vector v1, vector v2, vector v3 and vector v4, right. So, in that case my total breadth which I can again denote it as a vector v, then I can say that it is because it is a full breadth I am going to take the v. So, ideally it also means v 1 times v 1 plus 0 0.5 times v 2 plus 1 time v 3 oh sorry v 3 plus um, 0 0.5 times v 4. Now, why it is 0.5? It is because uh, you know it is a half bath, right. So, that is why I am taking as 0 0.5. Now, this scalar multiplication can be with any uh, constant uh, real number, right. It can be irrational numbers, it can be root of something uh, and it can be any numbers, ok. It is a real number. A, a scalar, scalar number is a real number, ok. So, now that I have this formula uh, with that I can calculate the total bath. So, basically 1 times 1 is 1, this is going to, so I, I can just simply do this, I can say 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 0.5 times 1. Again, we are doing element wise operation, ok. So, that means, the total bath here is uh, 3.5, ok, because now we know that, you know, see the, this is the correct intuition 3.5 because we have one half bath otherwise if we would have just added all this number it would have become 4 bathroom which was not correct. Again similarly we can do here as 0 plus again 1 times 0 0.5 plus 2 basically 2 times 1 plus again 0. So, this becomes 2.5 ok. So, if we from an intuition perspective we have a 1 full uh, two full bath and one half bath. So, basically it becomes 2.5 uh, bathrooms ok. So, hope this makes clear what is vector addition and scalar multiplication. Now, if you consider from another perspective uh, instead of considering them as single vectors I could have considered that as a matrix right and this would have been a 2 by 4 matrix in this case right. So, I could have taken a vector v which was of 2 by 4 matrix and I could have still done a scalar multiplication on it. Hopefully, this makes clear and in our next video we are going to look into the geometric representation of vectors and we will explain why that is important. Till then have a great day and enjoy your course in machine learning.